Hey guys, it's Hunter and welcome back to another video. Bill Kelleher's last signature model, the LTD BK600, was my favorite guitar that I demoed in 2016. The man knows how to spec guitars and LTD know how to build them. So the bar for his latest signature model, this odd looking LTD Sparrowhawk, was set pretty high. So does it soar past those expectations or does it fall short? Let's take a closer look. Okay, let's talk about the shape first. It's unique. Love it or hate it, these offset RD Jazzmaster reverse Firebird type bodies are in right now. Now Kelleher and LTD have said that the body style was influenced by the female form and a bunch of different classic shapes melded together. But to me it kind of just looks like a ditto that was startled while trying to transform into a guitar and got stuck. Not that that's a bad thing. Personally, I think the curvy flat top body shape looks really cool. The finish is great as well. It's got the same military green sunburst satin finish as the BK600, and the gold hardware emphasizes the elegance of the overall aesthetic. If there's one thing I would add, it would be binding to the top of the body and to the headstock. As is, the Sparrowhawk might look a little too plain, and white binding, like what's found on the BK600, would add a little bit of class without changing the overall vibe. But whatever, none of this has any impact on the tone or playability, so let's get to the juicy stuff. The tone of the Sparrowhawk is fueled by Kelleher's new signature lace divinator pickups. Now compared to his other signature set, the Dissonant Aggressors, they're much lower output. Though that isn't really saying much seeing as the Dissonant Aggressors are some of the hottest pickups I've ever come across. The Divinators are tamer and smoother while still being very mastodon -y. So here's what they sound like through a dirty channel.
here's what they sound like for cleans. And just like the BK600, both knobs are push-pull to split the pickups. Volume splits the bridge. while tone splits the neck. The coil split feature is very useful, especially for cleans, and gives this guitar a nice range of versatile tones. And for those of you wondering where the battery compartment is, there isn't one. While the divinators have a look that's generally associated with active pickups, black plastic with no exposed pole pieces, they are very much passive. Now I generally use LTD as my go-to example for consistency. In my opinion, they are the gold standard for affordable overseas guitars in terms of great out-of-the-box playability every time. But this particular Sparrowhawk was a weird case. Not really sure what happened here, but someone just kind of forgot or couldn't be bothered to screw in the pickup selector? That's fine, once I found the washer and the hard case, everything was Gucci. Until I tried tuning it up and then the A string was too short. As soon as I turned the key, the string popped out and I could not get it back in because it didn't reach. So I had to replace it with one of my own. I'm gonna chalk this one up to the QC guy having an off day. I've played a lot of LTDs in stores on this channel and 99 times out of 100, well, I haven't played 100 LTDs, but you get the point. Generally, they need absolutely no work. You take them out of the box and they're ready to be played. Now, neither of these issues are by any means deal breakers. They're easily user rectified. It's just annoying that I wasn't able to use the strings it came with and even $100 starter guitars come with the pickup selector screwed in. Thankfully, that's where the QC issues with the Sparrowhawk end and the rest of the instrument is great. The build quality is sound, feels like a high quality instrument and I am loving the set through construction. The cutaway is awesome, gives really nice access to the higher frets and the thin you neck with extra jumbo frets should feel comfortable and familiar to anyone who's played in ESP. Now, one of the reasons that I loved Kelleher's other signature model so much is because of the fingerboard radius. Most ESPs come with a rounder 12 inch radius, while most LTDs, with the exception of the BK600, come with a flatter 14 inch radius. That spec alone, combined with rock solid construction, makes the BK600 feel like the closest model LTD currently make to a bona fide ESP. The Sparrowhawk unfortunately does not share that spec, it comes with the flatter 14 inch radius. As a result, while it's still a very high quality guitar, it definitely feels like an LTD, not an ESP. So for me then, I guess the LTD Sparrowhawk is a bit of a mixed bag. It comes with a hard case, the new Divinator pickups are excellent, the aesthetics are on point, and minor QC annoyances aside, it's a good playing, well-crafted guitar. 
However, I'm just a little disappointed it doesn't share the same fingerboard and binding appointments as the BK600. I was expecting it to be essentially that same guitar that I love so much with different pickups and a different body shape, when in reality it's a really different beast. And that's okay, the Sparrowhawk is still one of the most unique, wacky signature models out of LTD's 2017 lineup. The neck cutaway is especially impressive, and like most, if not all, LTDs in this price range, it is an absolute blast to play. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this guitar, so leave them in the comments, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to Sam Ash for somehow finding one of these available for a demo, and to Pad for doing an awesome mix job. Don't forget, if you really like what I do, you can find bonus stuff on my Patreon. All links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome. This is the LTD Sparrowhawk, and I will see you for the next video.